What, what does um, saving the post office mean to you? We are, we are happy. We, are, we want to serve the community and the community is happy to learn that, that we are saved. Yesterday so many people came to say the good news. And, and how, how is the support of sort of the MP and the councillors yeah, yes, and the community association? Oh, yeah, we are supported a lot. Um, also, I discussed the matter with the um, post office manager, or the area manager. He said the community is, community is very um, happy and they wrote so many letters also our MP and councillors sent letters to them. And <laughs> we have to thank the devil and we also. A lot of the local post offices are the lifeblood of the local communities and this one in particular, uh, if the plans to close it had gone ahead, then uh, a lot, of, especially of the elderly people around here, would have suffered as well. So I'm delighted that we succeeded. Of course we've got a few more to fight for across Harringay and the castle will do everything possible to uh, help save as much of the services as possible. But in the meantime, it's time for celebration. Congratulations to all involved, and especially RMP, who has been crucial in the campaign, and the local residents' campaign, a huge petition, and uh, it shows that people's power works every now and then. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell you how pleased I am that we actually did it. The community, local councillors, post office staff uh, and me as MP saying no we cannot close this post office in our area where so many elderly rely on its service, where people come from one of the most deprived walks in London long and far to come to this post office. We did it through campaigning together and I'm really really pleased for the people of Tottenham to be one of only seven post offices to have succeeded in this fight.